staying here. Oh, there's fish in there too. Yeah. Hello. I wonder if we could reach out and pet them. I mean, you can't, but like if they would let you, you know? Okay. Hello, I'm Melanie and I met this YouTuber. Sometimes I make videos. Awesome. High five. Have a great day in Animal Kingdom. So nice meeting you. Where are we going? I'm going on the Rafiki train. Big one in there. <laughs> so we just got to Rafiki's Island. We decided to check out the animation experience. I just had a feeling that it was gonna be Thumper, and I didn't believe her because we're always like, oh, it's Thumper today. We saw a Thumper sign for the animation thing, but it's just like a sign that they keep out all the time. Like, it's not like they put it there for today. And so we saw that sign, and I was like, is that a sign? Like a literal sign? We walked into the building, and we said, the 145 drawing. <laughs> Send you over there, that gentleman. He's waving as if to get your attention. There you go. Are you guys excited to come first? Be hard or easy? Easy. I hope so. Greatest inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. Do we have papers? Do we have the boards? To the second diorama we're here. So the first one's going to be a little bit after that cross point right along here. Now that we have our three markings, we're actually going to do a nice slanted oval. Sketch it very lightly. We just want to build in a shape. It is meant to be a sketch. It can even be shady. That is perfectly fine. It just means giving them human characteristics so that us as the human viewer can relate to them better. To close up this shape, I'm just going to go ahead and do a this is going to be part of his cheek. Eye is going to be another slanted oval, reaching for the top, sculpting it in the mirror right back in. You might be wondering, where is the other eye going to go? And I have good news for you. For my and rod. And that is going to be his eyelash. We mentioned how in the video it says proportion. So let's go ahead and give him some really big irises and pupils. The rabbits are able to sleep with their eyes open. Something I tried doing once. Draw another circle in there. This is going to be a nice reflection of light. Shading is just icing on the cake. Not a necessary sign. Always leave him like an alignment and put him in back home or at your face. Right. So let's draw his nose. Right along this section over here to a nice type of line. And we're going to turn that line into a capital letter D. And once you have that nose going, we want to connect it back to the cheek, right? We're gonna do a nice little connector on the side. I would like to get that nose a little bit more dimension. Add some creases right above. A little wrinkle on this side. Maybe he's wiggling his nose. So we can do another one right on the top. We're gonna go right above and do a nice little hill on top of this circle. And once you have that little hill, make a straight line going from there way to the other way before the top of the head. A nice line that goes touching that end of the guideline. Touch the circle and bring it back to the little hill. We're going to indicate that there's another eye on the other side. Let's do a nice rounded mountain right along the side. Let's do a little eyelash right at the end of that guy. And is anybody feeling frustrated yet? Yeah. Is this anybody's first time drawing thumper? That this is the best thumper he's ever drawn. Even if you do have an excellent drawing, it's not like we're gonna hire you for this movie. Go <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Eric, go we'll get him. Conditioned air, thank goodness. Imagine there was no conditioned air. First time here. Ian, you have both never been here. Yank and Yeti. Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti. So this is the kiwi coconut rita, margarita that has a real kiwi on top, fuzzies and all. So me and Eric are here at Yak and Yeti. What are your thoughts on the double window corner view? Amazing. Do you like it a lot? Yes. Would you have preferred another seat? No. I mean, unless if it's like 360 windows uh, on a third floor. 
Something that we realized is that right outside the window, Kevin from up, up comes uh-huh. out and does a little meet and greet. Best view of Kevin. Yes. And we might hear him squawking. Oh, we can't. Mom sees Kevin. Okay, you do? I don't see him at all. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. He's coming this way. got the honey chicken which comes with vegetables and jasmine or brown rice. Eric is already starting and I think he really likes it. Do you? Delicious. <laughs> Eric got the tilapia and brown rice and then we got some garlic noodles to share. Mom got, mom got coconut shrimp. Look at that. All right, let's eat. So we just finished lunch. It was so, so good. Now we're walking on that little bridge that goes along the water that goes towards Pandora, which is that way. And there's a turtle. We've seen him before. What ride are we going on now? We are going on Planet of Passage. Oh yeah. <laughs> This has to be one of the most beautiful areas, I think, like ever in Disney World. Like, they just thought about every detail. You really could, like, you're in Pandora. Like, it's just such a beautiful... Hey, you. Hello. So we are right now on line four. Why don't I forget the name? Pandora. Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage. And I forgot the name for a second. This is my favorite ride so far. Because I might do Everest soon. Anything to say? Um, I'm really excited to ride the ride. Me too. Yeah. I just had to chug my beer. Green. What? Green beer. Thank you. Please fill the room on both sides of the railing. And stand in the number you are given. Can't keep up with him. Hello. All right, so after riding Flight of Passage, what should we do right after? Get a bikini pretzel. Well, what's the Pandora exclusive drink? Oh, the, the, the boba. The boba drink. What I wear is called the, bo- the boba. The blossom. The night blossom or the rum blossom, but it's the drink that has the boba balls. So what are we right at the exit? Yes. Yes. Where are you going to, buddy? You're trying to go. Somewhere. Somewhere. Here on the savannah, the landscape is going to be dictated by its inhabitants. Elephants will often act as bulldozers to clear down any trees they want to eat. Giraffes are going to prune the underside of remaining trees. And antelope, well, they get to help mow the grass. So everyone will work. Traveling thousands of miles every single year with upwards of 1.5 million members. But a smaller grouping, such as that here on the reserve, is called a confusion or an implausibility. Now we can tell that they are Maasai giraffe because they have an irregular puzzle-like pattern to their coat. But I do want to draw your attention to something here. That's very rare. That is an extremely vulnerable position for a giraffe to be in. They will only do that when they feel comfortable and safe to do so. They average about 18 to 20 feet high. And a grouping is called a tower. Also because of the shape of their ears. It does resemble the continent of Africa. Into 15 years old before getting kicked out. That's when they will go off and join a bachelor group of all males. White rhinos are going to be larger than black rhinos by eh, about 2,000 pounds. Cheetah are known to be one of the fastest land animals. They can reach speeds of about 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds. Their muscular tails help them to change direction while running. We do have that crash of rhinos, usually set up higher than everything else in the area, which is why they are sometimes used by large cats such as lions. We do see a male lion hanging up there, but I'm gonna see if we can get a little bit of lions. It's called a pride. There can be as many as 40 members within that pride, but there will only be male lion as well as two lionesses. Now, when lions are active and awake, everyone in the area will know about it. Ostrich eggs. The largest eggs laid by a bird, since ostriches are the largest land birds. They are originally from South Africa, have been proven to be extremely valuable. You're so cool looking. Whoa. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> the 
bird just pooped right next to Eric. <laughs> oh my so god. make it poop down on you. <laughs> I heard it's bomb. Like, oh my gosh, I almost got pooped. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's fully asleep. He can take a breath automatically without waking up. Everybody take it. No. So he's literally still asleep. <laughs> so they go to sleep at day, they stay awake at night. Yeah, because in Africa, they have just their skin, right? They don't have any fur to make sure they don't get sunburned. So it makes more sense. Yeah. They keep cool in the water. It's like the best time to see them before they go in because they all come out. Look at the little babies. There's a bunny. Look at the bunny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bar so almost done with it what do you think is better do you like that one better or do you like the premium bars better this really mm -hmm. you like those better than the premium bars that is so crazy <laughs> and I'm like, what dog is this? Like, it's not the dog from Cinderella because he's brown. And then I opened the little tag. It's literally the shaggy dog. And I thought it was, but I was like, there's no way. Look at him, he's part of the 100 Decades collection. How cute. You know, Gero's eyes are like a little scary, I feel like. But these three caballeros ears are literally so adorable. 20,000 leagues in the seat ears. These are pretty cool. These ones have the little like fork things for your hair, like the headband fork thing, so it doesn't slide off your head. Where would we be going that has 16 floors? Where are we going that has 16 floors? Um, the top of the room. Oh, look at Sean. So you're gonna try this drink and then you're gonna tell us what you think it is. Do you have any ideas? Shirley Temple. It doesn't look like one to me, I don't know. It looks a little dark. He's different. Oh yeah? She looks like a little blueberry. Right? So it is a Shirley Temple, but it tastes like kind of like blueberry, right? Like a blueberry cherry. Tron's having a disco party while the fireworks are going off. Um, what is going on, Tron? While the fireworks are shooting up behind them. <laughs> I think Tron likes the Mets. What do we think? So we just watched the fireworks on the top of the World Lounge on our way home. We were leaving Animal Kingdom and it was about 9 o'clock. We were passing by. Perfect timing for the fireworks and we were able to see the fireworks super quick. Get a Shirley Temple, right? How is the Shirley Temple? Delicious. They have the, like the really good cherries here. Have you seen Happily Ever After since it came back? No. No. Neither of us have. Are you singing the Super Mario theme song? Do, 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 I don't know. At least we got a cool view of Tron. Wait, wait. Right? <laughs> middle. It's gonna be the middle one. Let's see. Three, two, one. The middle. Three, two. Yes. Never mind. I think it came and left. <laughs> Three, two, one. Middle. Middle. Oh! Push it. Push it. One. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh.